All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Here it is with a fresh recap, if you guys are following us from the start. So we took it to go get detail from our boys, Upscale Detailing, so make it immaculate and it looks really, really clean. We figured out that the fan wasn't directed, so figured that issue out. We figured out that the sensor was hanging, so of course we zip tied it, because if your car doesn't have zip ties, it's a real Honda. We got the zip tie to the sensor here. We got a custom made battery tie down. And then on top of that, we discovered that we have an exhaust leak semi almost starting from the header down at the bottom. And I actually never been under the car yet. I haven't been under the car, but I went under it yesterday and I noticed that it's all just welded with the, the a cat. It's like, it's just made up from the, the whole exhaust back. So it actually does sound decent. It does sound pretty good, but um, it's just a made up welded piece of stuff together. So we got the Nvidia exhaust already on order. I'm trying to find somebody to have headers that have it for sale or something, buy it off the street or something like that, just to put it together. Um, we got the intake on order. At least I haven't decided what brand of one I want, but I want to put a nice one. Straight to the floor. Um, a couple other stuff. We got a bunch of miscellaneous things actually. Up there, up top, you guys will see the side door molding that goes here. I'm going to send it out to paint to get that painted and the bumper painted. We have a carbon fiber lip on order that'll be here soon. We're having a boy clear headlights. And we have the carbon fiber hood on order as well already too. So those two items, the carbon fiber parts, should be in within the week. Just quickly admire that fresh detailed job. They did such a good job over there. All right, so the next issue we have is the fact that when you're driving it and you're trying to cross over and use VTEC actually, the check engine light comes right on. Once you turn off the car and restart it and turn it back on, it check engine light goes away. So I guess at this point, I'm gonna have to get a new ECU and kind of retune it and restart from scratch. But check out the nice detail they did inside. It smells really, really clean. I hope you can smell this through the through the camera as you guys are watching. Like it smells really clean. The windows are taken care of. Look at how clear it is. Oh, got them. I'm just kidding. But the windows are taken care of. I actually want to take the tint off all this because I want it to be fishbowled because my point, the whole point is like I want to add a roll cage, the roll bars and stuff like that all in the future. So I want it to be able to be visible and be seen with the bucket seats and so much more. I don't know if I ever posted like a fresh, like, you know, of it actually just chilling and idling. So let's go ahead and give it to you guys now. I don't know if I ever did. Ready, set. You guys can see that right there, clear dash. Clear dash, not one light on. Sheesh, not one light on. A nice idle. Now, as for wheels and suspension, we have the D2 coilovers on order already, which I'm gonna pick those up throughout the week. So we're gonna take the True Hearts off and put D2s on. Um, actually gonna get a sponsorship from our boys at Whistler Wheels. So for some uh, free set of sponsorship wheels for, I don't know if I'm gonna go 15s or 16s just yet. I know he's been out of 16s for a minute, so we're gonna wait on that. That's kind of where we're at. But just check out how clear the paint came out to be after just getting some love and detail on Sunday. My boys did a really, really good job. So make sure you guys check them out as also. We got the banners coming in also. Our boy at Endless Auto Salon is gonna get us some new banners so we can add that there. Add the YouTube sticker right there at the bottom. Stay on it with this YouTube grind. And then on top of that, also we're gonna work on trying to get a turbo kit possibly. I'm right now I'm trying to replace the header and the exhaust issue, but turbo kit, that's plans for the future. And uh, with car shows coming up right around the corner, I definitely wanna show you guys the progress and be on it and put the pedal to the metal before we sell the GTR. The GTR is still for sale, okay? And so are the wheels and tires. And I still have my old old 19 inch uh, 57 DRs with the Toyota tires off my Supra so if you guys are watching this video you have a friend whatever let me know those are for sale those are actually 5 by 120 so it doesn't just have to be a Supra okay so with that being said we're going to go ahead and start the removal of the front bumper and send the front bumper out to get painted I'm not gonna worry about the hood because like I said I have the carbon fiber hood already on the way so what we're gonna do is get our nice little tool sets pop these off pop this off take the bumper off and uh, send it in for paint because this really starts to bother me Sheesh. Also, one more thing. We got the new intake on order. The AEM intake is going to be here about a week or so. Uh, I think I caught you guys up in the carbon fiber parts, didn't I? I don't know what else I got to okay on. I got the coilovers, the carbon, the stuff up there. Yeah, so let's wrap it up. So we're going to get ready to start taking the bumper off. We got our 10 and a 12 millimeter to take this off. We have to take off these clips right here and uh, right down here behind here. Take that off and uh, pop the headlights out maybe and clean them up ourselves or just kind of wait. Uh, take these clamps off. Boom, 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 it's a Civic. So this whole car will fall apart with the 10 and 12 mil. So uh, let's get to work.
All right, boys, just like that, we got the front bumper removed, and we're going to go ahead and turn that in tomorrow. So the Civic won't be leaving tonight. I'm actually going to drive around the GTR, but just check it out. Progress, progress, progress. So just adding some more things to it today and continuing with the follow-up. Well, guys, that is progress for today. And like I said, I don't even know how I'm looking right now, but I hope you guys guys can see it. Hit the like button, hit the follow button, hit the share button, hit the reaction button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are looking forward to the most with this. I'm looking forward to all the car shows, me personally, myself, to see how far we can take the Civic. As for the wheels, Whistler Wheels is going to sponsor us some wheels, so I'm already excited about that. Like I said previously in the video, I don't know, 15s or 16s. Comment down below uh, what you guys think we should roll with on this car. Uh, polish up the headlights, take this bumper, turn it in tomorrow, send it out to paint. We'll probably get it back in one or two days, and then we'll start seeing the car in private hood, the lip, and all the other stuff. Um, some motor work that I need to do cross is I need to do the oil pumps and headers. If anybody out there has headers for sale, please let me know. Comment down, tag your friends, tag your buddies, whatever. Um, I need to find some headers. We're in California, so I know I sell parts, but that's one of the things that I can't sell. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for enjoying the video. Please comment down below how I can make these videos better and more exciting. I'm learning, trying to pick up this YouTube and try to vlog again uh, and get right back to it. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. Back at it like always. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. And if you guys do follow us on Facebook, YouTube, twitch and you guys join our streams thank you guys so much for the love too as well so i stream almost every night i do my best too so if you guys want to vibe along the stream and chat and get more one-on-one -on -one conversations make sure you guys join the stream signing out peace out thank you guys